not going anywhere. Unions have vowed to keep a vigil on Pacific Brands factories to prevent any equipment being moved offshore. Well, there's only one thing from the company that's going to be exported through these gates or any gates on the wharves, and that's the executive. The company says it has no plans to move any machinery anywhere. After crisis talks yesterday, the clothing manufacturer is considering a government plea to see if it can keep any manufacturing jobs in Australia. As unions fume over the big pay packages bosses gave themselves before sacking 1,800 workers, the Greens are seeking legal advice on ways to curb executive wages. If you're going to sack workers in your corporation and you're on one of these fat cat salaries, take a million off your salary and you'll save 17 Australian jobs. The Greens will seek amendments to the government's Fair Work Bill when it goes to the Senate in a fortnight. But three previous attempts to curb over-the-top CEO packages were voted down by both Labor and the Coalition. I can feel the ground moving here and I think the big parties are about to change and to catch up with the Greens. After receiving more than $17 million in government support in the past two years, Pacific Brands could be about to get more. Applications close on Monday for the next round of Commonwealth grants for investment in research and development and manufacturing equipment. The company won't say how much it wants, only that it's entitled to recover the money it's already spent. It just might not be able to keep it. The government says it has the right to claw it all back if Pacific Brands gets rid of all its manufacturing operations by 2015. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News.